take a look at a Faraday's Law example problem. Now because um, Faraday's Law states that there's a relationship between the number of moles supplied in an electrolytic cell and the number of moles of a metal that can be reduced, we can convert from moles of electrons supplied to moles of product to grams of product using basic stoichiometry. stoichiometry. Also, if we're given or if we can figure out the quantity of charge because of Faraday's number that 96,485 coulombs equals one mole of electrons, we can then given a quantity of charge determine the number of moles of electrons that are supplied to some given electrolytic cell. Further, if we know the current and the amount of time the current is running, we can determine the quantity of charge. So current is um, reported or measured in units of amps. And the time unit, of course, could be anything. But since the amp is equal to a coulomb per second, then any time we're converting from um, current and time to quantity of charge, our time unit would have to be in units of seconds. So because we have all these relationships, we can work out problems given the amount of current and time, how many grams ultimately of the metal we would expect to have reduced. So here's an example. How many hours is required to plate 25 grams of copper metal from a one molar copper sulfate solution using a current of three amps? Okay, in this case we want to know, the question that we're looking for is how much time it takes to get a certain amount of copper metal given a certain current. So in order to do this, we'll do a series of conversions, since we have these relationships all the way down the line, and we'll end up um, converting to units of time. So first of all, we want to note that we're given 25 grams and we're given 3 amps. So the um, stoichiometry here is that um, they, it takes two electrons to reduce uh, one mole of copper to copper metal. So our relationship between the moles of electrons and the moles of copper is a two to one molar ratio. All right, so let's uh, get ourselves from units of grams to units of moles to moles of electrons to charge and then we'll use our current to uh, determine, given that quantity of charge, how much time it would have taken to deliver that much charge. So here we go. We start with 25 grams of copper. We need to, of course, get that grams of copper into moles of copper. We just use the molar mass of copper, which I'll read off the periodic table to be about 65.5 grams of copper per one mole of copper. Okay, and um, <clears throat> we're going to be reducing this copper, and um, for every one mole of copper formed, it's going to require um, two, excuse me, two moles of electrons. So we're back to this point in our relationship. So two moles of electrons will be supplied for every one mole of copper um, that's formed. Okay, and so we want to know how much charge that must be uh, and that would be for every one mole of uh, electrons we're going to deliver 96,485 coulombs of charge. Okay so at this point I can cancel all of the units um, down to the unit of the amount of charge that needs to be delivered to reduce uh, to get this mass of copper formed <clears throat> and so I'm in units of coulombs and uh, the amount of time it would take to deliver that depends on the current, the rate at which you're delivering it. And the current that we're using is 3 uh, amps. So that's 3 coulombs, or I could just abbreviate that with a capital C, 3 coulombs per 1 second. And so the coulomb unit will, will um, cancel. Now I'm unit left with the number of seconds it takes to deliver this much charge to produce that much uh, copper. But the question was in units of hours. If I stopped here, it would be a very large number. So I'm going to go ahead and convert on down to hours. And so there's 60 seconds, <clears throat> excuse me, in one minute. And there are 60 minutes in one hour. Okay. So when I do the math, 
I end up um, with the seconds canceling, minutes canceling, units of hours. I end up that it takes about, oh, uh, I'll round it up to seven hours to plate out 25 grams of copper using a three amp current.